When you think of the important singer-songwriters who moved to the village in the late 1950s and early 60s, you might not immediately think of Buddy Holly. But right before his death in 1959, he was living in an apartment on the fourth floor of this building, the Brevert, at 11 Fifth Avenue between 8th and 9th Streets. That's where he wrote and recorded the demos for his final group of songs, including one of my favorites, Learning the Game. Hearts that are broken and love that's untrue Please go and learn in the game When you love her and she doesn't love you With his acoustic guitar, he would take the short walk to Washington Square Park, where he was just one of many young singers and songwriters playing there. Few people recognized him as one of the biggest rock and roll stars in the world. When you hear the later songs and realize he was hanging out with contemporaries like Fred Neal and Carolyn Hester, and visiting the folk and blues clubs, you get the feeling that if he had lived, his music would have reflected those influences, just as his own music was to influence writers like Bob Dylan, John Sebastian, Eric Anderson, and Phil Oakes. I want this album to honor the legacy of that generation of songwriters. While so many hit songs were being written uptown in the Brill Building and at 1650 Broadway, you could walk into any club or coffee house in this neighborhood and hear new songs by musicians who were broadening the folk tradition. Songs that were not only topical but durable, not only about politics, but about love and mortality. There's no place in this world where I'll belong. I won't know the right from the wrong when I'm gone You won't find me singing all this song when I'm gone So I guess I'll have to do it while I'm here And I won't feel the flowing of the time when I'm gone The pleasures of love will not be mine when I'm gone My pen won't pour Yes, I have to do it while I'm The message of that song resonates strongly with me, and it is, in a way, the concept behind Sorrows and Promises. It's so important that the songs outlive their composers, that they continue to be interpreted and embraced for the classics they are. And since I've always heard echoes of those great 60s downtown writers in my own music, and I've lived in the village for so long, I thought it was time to do some of those songs myself. They've always meant so much to me. So many of the writers of these songs are gone, but it's a gift that we can remember them through the music they left us. And I'm thrilled to be partnered with Pledge Music to bring this project to life. <laughs>